Hey guys, Andy here, and today is a very special day, yes, because today marks my three-year anniversary back in Japan. So on this day, December 28th, 2019, I got myself back on a plane heading straight for Tokyo. It was the first time I was back in Japan in over four years. Before that, I was stationed in Yokosuka from 2013 to 2015 when I got out of the US Navy. And this is my first time back in Japan and back as a civilian going to study abroad. And in that time, experienced a lot of highs and experienced a lot of lows. So soon after arriving, I got settled in and started classes the very next month at Lakeland University of Japan in Shinjuku, but now in Ryogoku. During that time, I was making friends and just settling in to my new life as a study abroad student in Japan. But then a few months later, the uh, you know what hit and we all got sent back home to attend class on Zoom. My uh, plans to socialize with people here in Japan kind of got nixed for a good chunk of time, to be honest with you. Even though I couldn't really make a lot of close friends in Japan through school, the lockdown and everything did present some interesting opportunities as far as being able to work because obviously the country had locked down. So there weren't a whole lot of people that were skilled in video editing, videography, things like that coming into the country. And there's also a lot more people sitting at home trying to wait the whole thing out. So I got a lot of um, video editing, videography work while I was out here. I worked for various production companies, did some independent freelance work for lots of different uh, YouTubers, small businesses, uh, children's authors even. On my 35th birthday in 2020, I got my associate's degree. So it was a very pivotal time in my life because it was my first post-secondary degree and it was at that point where I became the first in my family to get any sort of post-secondary education degree. Even though, yeah, it's an associate's and who cares, but it marked a very pivotal time because at that point I was just kind of going to classes at different schools, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, when I got out of the military, I was very confused on life and things like that. Like I knew I wanted to go back to Japan at some point, but I didn't really know how I would get there or like what my degree would be in or just really what my next steps forward were at that point. Luckily managed to find Lakeland and got out here, went to classes with uh, the combined credits of my classes at Lakeland as well as my previous classes, combined all that together to uh, get my associates. During that semester, I also got word that uh, Lakeland was starting up a bachelor's program as well. See, before they had only done associates programs, which are two-year degree programs. I was kind of worrying what the next step would have been for myself because I had applied to Temple University and figured, you know, since I'll have the associate's degree, I'll just be a shoe in just go to Temple, get my four year and uh, take it from there, right? But I uh, ended up getting rejected from Temple because they had counted my GPA for all of the schools that I went to, averaged it out without taking into consideration uh, my recent improvements with things and said that I wasn't exactly Temple material started up my bachelor's program in the summer semester of 2021 and in August of 2022 woo this year I got my bachelor's degree and that was a very critical moment of my life even though yes getting the associates did technically make me the first of my family to graduate from university um, but I was also the first in my family to graduate from university with a four-year degree instead of just the associates. And I also became the first in my school's history to be awarded the bachelor's degree because, like I said before then, uh, the Japan campus could only offer two-year degrees, but they just started and I got the very first one, number one, 
with a bullet. You can even see me receiving my degree in the uh, graduation ceremony that I uploaded on YouTube. So I'm first in line to uh, get that paper. What goes up must unfortunately go down. And I had gone through some postgraduate depression after graduating because I had thought that I would be able to get a job very easily in Japan once I got my bachelor's degree. You know, obviously I couldn't get anything substantial with an associate's because can't offer a visa on associates, you know, but once I got the bachelor's, I figured, oh, I'd be a shoo I'm a recent graduate, just got my associates, been in the country for a while, but it wasn't exactly that easy because uh, during most of this year, I had been applying to a bunch of different jobs, but obviously while I was in school, nobody really took me all that seriously because, well, you're in school, we'll wait till you actually have the degree. We're not going to give you a job offer now. And at the time I was like, okay, fair enough. But as graduation was drawing closer and closer and I wasn't getting any job offers at all, I was getting a little worried to say the least. And thankfully I did manage to find myself a little part-time gig to help with things uh, shortly after graduating. Uh, it was a job in digital marketing. I still work there, in fact. Um, and while it's okay, it's, uh, just makes me enough to barely pay the bills. So I am looking for something a bit more substantial, to say the least, to really help me move on to the next uh, chapter in my life here in Japan and also get that work visa so I can stay here longer and uh, continue my journey out here in Japan. So that's kind of where I am now. You know, I've just been going through a lot of, of job searching and trying to find something a bit more substantial and not really getting a whole lot in return from that, whether it's English teaching or any other sort of field that I might have expertise in, uh, namely digital marketing. Those are the ones that I'm looking at uh, at the moment. Whereas before I was starting to really lose hope and uh, worrying if I'd have to go back home to America, work in the factory and just figure it the fuck out. I think now I have a lot more hope and thinking that uh, things will definitely improve moving into uh, to next year. Um, I can't really explain why. Don't really have any significant reason why I would feel this way, but uh, I don't know. Just maybe it's the Christmas spirit. Could be, who knows. But, you know, I do definitely do feel a lot more optimistic moving into 2023. Uh, a lot of good stuff happened to me this year, 2022. But I'm thinking 2023 is the year that I'm really going to um, do some significantly important things. You know, get a job, um, move into a bigger place than I am now. Uh, I've been living at this uh, guest house for going on two years now. I think it's actually over two years at this point. While this guest house has definitely served me well during my student years, I think it's, uh, it's high time to uh, you know move into my own place and can't really do that unless I have the full-time job because nobody will rent to a heathen gaijin such as myself. So got to get some stuff taken care of in the IRL so I can uh, improve on other things as well, which leads into content and stuff. That good old quality content here on the uh, tubs. Now, I know I've been notoriously inconsistent with content on here since, what, the beginning of time, basically? Um, and more so these past four months because I've just been doing um, freelance work, um, autobito, part-time work, and just trying to keep the lights on the best I can. And doing all that caused a lot of strain and stress you know, my relationship with making content has changed significantly since I technically do it for a living. It's caused me to make a lot less content on here. And I've just been trying to find ways to, to make YouTube right-sized for me. Because I do really want to grow this channel and really want to do a lot of things. But I'm severely limited by lack of money, lack of time. 
Um, lack of language ability is another big thing. Got to correct next year. Uh, but we, we'll be talking more about resolutions and things in my next video. But suffice it to say that I felt like I could have definitely done a lot more content for you guys. Yeah, I feel like I really just dropped the ball, especially these past four months. My attitude towards life and everything else was was very negative until fairly recently. Um, I just felt like the walls were closing in and that was going to be it for me. But, you know, I just hung out with some friends, talked about some stuff. So once we get stuff taken care of in the IRL, then I can start making content a lot more consistently. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of ideas that are still, you know, on my computer. You know, I've still kept those ideas. I'm still adding more ideas. And uh, as time allows and as uh, the finances and everything start to become a little more consistent, then we'll be able to really crank out some good stuff because I have a lot of great ideas. Like I said, sorry, this is a little repetitive. This is just me thinking out loud here, but um, without spoiling the next video too much, suffice it to say, I do want to focus more on content for this channel next year. Um, just wanna thank you guys for all the support in my three years back in Japan and uh, for your old school followers, even longer than that. And now the country is uh, opened up again by the way, Japan's open, guys. Come on over. Support the yen. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but now the country's, country's opened up, um, I do want to be collaborating with people a lot more. And I feel a lot more confident, more than ever, in collaborating with people now that the environment is allowing us to do so safely. And now that people are coming over and, you know, it's starting to feel like it was back... Uh, when I first came to Japan and there's just a whole bunch of, of new people coming in and doing collabs with vlogs and things like that. It's I'm starting to get back into that YouTube spirit once again. So things are looking up and uh, can't wait for next year. But with that said, guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. See you soon in 2023. We.